So I wanted to do a quick review with some practice here on what we did in our previous lesson, um, the uh, remote interior angles. I know that's a new concept for you, so I figure uh, practicing a couple of those will hopefully make it easier. So uh, we'll just postpone lesson 8.8 .8 until our next lesson. So hopefully these first four are pretty basic for you, but I would like you to write two different notes down on your practice paper here. The first note I would like you to write down is that the three angles inside of the triangles are always going to be equal to 180 degrees. That's a magic number when we're doing triangles and straight angles or lines and trying to figure out measurement of angles. Because the second note that I want you to write down is that a straight line, also known as a straight angle, is equal to 180 degrees. So as long as I can use that number to do math, I can always find out what my missing angle actually is. So as I look at my triangle, then once again, I'm looking for Z in question one. So I'm going to create my expression out of my three angles. I have Z plus then the other two angles that I'm given, plus 115 degrees plus 31 degrees. Now I'm gonna make an, an equation because I know what it has to be equal to. It has to be equal to 180. Then I do the math that I'm given. So I'm gonna add my two angles that I know which is 115 and 31. So I'm going to do that math. I'm going to keep my variable, so Z plus, and then I add those two to get 146 degrees. I know that that has to be equal to 180 degrees. And then it's welcome back to algebra. We're going to do our opposite function, then do it on our opposite side. So on the side where the variable is, I look at what math is being done. I'm adding 146 to Z, so I'm going to subtract 146 from it, which just cancels those out. Now I go to the opposite side and I'm gonna subtract from 180. Once again, whatever math I do where the variable is, I do the same thing on the opposite side of the equal sign. Now, some of you, you're gonna write down that that's six and it's not because I can't take six from zero. So borrow, show your borrowing so you don't lose track of what you're doing. And now I have 10 minus six and I can do that, which is four and seven minus four is three. So we're hypothesizing now that Z is equal to 34, but let's check it and make sure. So I go back to my original expression that I had written down, but I wanna plug in 34 for the Z. 34 plus the 115 plus the 31. When I add 34 and 115, I get 149, and 149 plus 31 is indeed 180 degrees. I know my math is good, so we're saying that the angle Z is equal to 34, but don't forget your label. Your label is degrees. Anytime we're doing angles, we're measuring them in degrees. Now, if I go too fast, please pause the video and take down your notes and review it and watch it again. Get your notes down and then go back and just watch and listen so you understand all the steps that we're doing. Practice two. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna locate the angle that I'm trying to find. And then I know that if I add my three angles together, so I'm gonna write my expression. So E plus the 86 plus the 47 that are given. I'm gonna change that into an equation because I know that if I add all three of them together, I have to equal 180 degrees. I do the math that I'm given, 86 plus 47. 86 plus 47 is 133. I bring down my variable, I bring down my addition sign. Then I bring down my equals and I bring down my 180. Once again, back to algebra. Do the opposite function on the opposite side. I'm adding 133, so I'm gonna subtract 133 so I can cancel those out. That gets me my E alone. So now I go to the opposite side and I subtract 133. Once again, I have to borrow. Then I have 10 minus three, which is seven, and seven minus three, which is four. So we're hypothesizing that E will be equal to 47. So we're gonna check it just to see. I plug that into my original expression. So I have 47 plus 86 plus 47. 47 plus 86 is 133. And 133 plus 47 is indeed 180. So I know my math is good. So we know that the angle E is equal to 47. And once again, don't forget your label, degrees. So on question three then, we're only given one measurement, right? I can see that I have 26, I'm looking for F, but then once again, I've got a blue box. And what's that blue box tell me? 
that tells me that is a right angle. So I am given the fact that that's 90 degrees. They're just not writing it down as a number. I would suggest that you do that. Then write your expression that you know you need to use. So if I'm looking for the variable of f, f plus 90 plus 26, and I know now I have to write it into an equation because they have to be equal to 180 degrees. I do the math that I'm given, 90 plus 26. I keep my variable, my addition. 90 plus 26 is 116. I bring down my equal sign. I bring down my 180 degrees. Once again, back to algebra, opposite function on the opposite side. I see that I'm adding 116 degrees, so I'm going to subtract 116 degrees so I can cancel those out and have my variable alone. Then I go to the opposite side and I subtract. Once again, I need to borrow. So I have now 10 minus 6, which gives me 4, and 7 minus 1, which gives me 6. So we're saying that f is going to be equal to 64, but we want to check and make sure that that's correct. Going back to our original expression, if I plug in 64 now, plus the 26 and 90, notice I flip where the 26 and 90 are because I like to group things together if I possibly can to make my math easier. And 64 plus 26 gives me 90, and 90 plus 90 is the 180. I know I'm good, so we're saying that F is equal to 64 degrees. All right, so now it's time to pause your video and do the math and then check your answer and make sure we're good to go before we go to the second half of this review. So hopefully one of the first things you did is that you marked down in your work that this is a 90 degree angle where the box is. We can see that we have 75 degrees, we're looking for K and we have a 90 degree angle. So hopefully you wrote down your expression of K plus 75 plus the 90. Making it an equation then, because it has to be equal to 180 degrees. You would have done the math, 90 plus 75, brought down your variable and your addition, plus 165 degrees. That's going to be equal to 180 degrees. And then hopefully you get the opposite function on the opposite side, subtracted by 165 to cancel out, went to the opposite side to subtract from 180, and you would have gotten 15. So we're saying that K is equal to 15, but we want to plug it in to our checkbox just to make sure. And so we have 15 plus 75, that does equal 90. And 90 plus 90, once again, is 180. So hopefully you got to the right answer. If you didn't and you don't see where your mistake was, please come and ask, raise your hand, and I'll come to you. But I want to help you before you move on. All right, so the second half, I'm putting, putting an image from the previous video so we can look at the idea of what exterior angles are and what interior angles are. And then the rule that we wrote down that two angles of a triangle that are not part of the straight line that we're seeking can be added together to equal the value. So what we're doing is we're trying to find in five and six this missing measurement. So if I know that the exterior angle is equal to the two remote interior angles. So the remote interior, interior angles are those two angles inside that are on the opposite side of the triangle from the straight line that we're trying to solve for the angle. So I have 32 and 32. Those are both my remote interior angles. Well, if I take 32 and 32 and add them together, then I see that my measurement for angle V, which is my exterior angle, is 64. So V is equal to 64 degrees, and I'm good to move on. I want you to try question six on your own. Come back and check your work. Just follow the steps in which I've given you. All right, so hopefully you looked and we saw that our exterior angle that we're trying to solve for is X. And then I have my two remote interior angles. Once again, they are on the opposite side of the triangle away from the exterior angle we're solving for, right? They're not connected to it. They don't make up that straight line. So my two remote interior angles are 54 and 63. So I simply should have added those together. And 63 plus 54 should have given you 117. So you find that angle 
x is equal to 117 degrees. Did you get that? Because we're going to go in reverse. If you didn't understand that process, rewind it, rewatch it, and listen to me since your notes are written down. And then if you're still confused, raise your hand or come and ask me, and I'll help you before you move on. So now we're going to go into reverse. I'm going to be given my exterior angle, and I have to solve for my missing remote interior angle. So if I know that my measurement of my exterior angle is equal to the measurement of my first remote interior angle plus my second remote interior angle, then if I write out that equation, I can just plug in the numbers that I have. So I know that my exterior angle, that E, is 124, and that my remote interior angles are D and 59. So if I plug them in to make my equation, I have 124 is equal to D plus 59. Back to algebra. Opposite function on the opposite side. I look at my variable D. I'm adding 59. So to get rid of it, I'm going to do the opposite function, which is subtract 59. I cancel those out and I go to the opposite side of the equal sign and I'm subtract 59 from 124. Borrowing in order to solve that, I end up with 14 minus 9, which is 5, and 11 minus 5, which is 6. So we're finding out that the measurement for angle D is actually equal to 65 degrees. Okay, so now it's up to you. If you would like to try question 8 on your own, feel free and then check your work. If not, you want to work through another one with me, then go ahead and follow along on the video. So once again, I need to know that my equation that I'm solving for is the measurement of the exterior angle, and that's going to be equal to adding the remote interior 1 and the remote interior angle 2. So if I plug in the information I know, I see that I have 118 as my exterior angle. And then for my interior angles, I have R and I have 56. So my equation becomes 118 equals the R, my variable that I want to solve for, and 56. So I'm adding those together. I look at my variable R, and I'm going to do my opposite function on the opposite side. I see that I'm adding 56, subtract 56 to get rid of it, then carry it over to the opposite side and subtract 56. 8 minus 6 is 2, and 11 minus 5 is 6. So I have 62 degrees. All right, so hopefully this has made it easier to review these and practice a few of them. If you still need help, please ask, but you have your assignment. Um, have it finished for the next class that we have um, for a grade. Once again, if you have questions, please come and ask.